Welcome. This is Shasta College, telling our story, defining the quality and value of an associate degree using the degree qualifications profile. Shasta College is a medium-sized community college in Northern California that serves approximately 12,000 students each year. When we started our project, we gathered some participants from the faculty and administration. We had our two SLO, Student Learning Outcomes Coordinators, participate, as well as our Director of Research and Planning and the Vice President of Academic Affairs. And along the way, we picked up more faculty, student services staff, and as you'll see later on, we actually managed to get our students involved as well. The description of our project is that Shasta College will work with its university studies degree to identify specific learning outcomes across the general education curriculum and core units using the DQP as the project framework to deepen understanding of the university studies degree for transfer students and allow the college to identify unique areas of excellence. The project focused on examining general education and got everyone excited. And it also overlapped with our institutional student learning outcomes, as well as our PLOs or program learning outcomes. So to begin the project, after we had gone to the uh, initial training and conference, we made a presentation to our cabinet and the board of trustees. We also involved the academic senate and faculty generally Faculty who were involved mapped the DQP to our general education learning outcomes, which are common to all of our university studies degrees. They all have a GE component and then a specific area of emphasis. As we did that and after we did that, we realized we needed to have more conversation about general education areas and their usefulness for students. We discovered, for example, not all faculty actually knew what our general education areas were and what the intention was for having a specific general education area. At this college, very little reflection on general education and its value had taken place. And we realized pretty quickly this was a golden opportunity to have those conversations. Our timeline. The project began in January 2014 at our annual Flex Day focus, and this year it was on general education. The State Academic Senate President presented at our campus on the value of general education, and since then, faculty had many discussions on the value of GE. Some rediscovered its value, and some discovered it for the first time. In April, our TRIO program collected student voices on the value of general education at Shasta College. In May, we gave our presentation to the ACCJC. And at currently, we are completing our project with continued sessions on GE and the creation of materials for internal and external groups. So during the past year, we assisted faculty in articulating the purpose and value of their degrees to students and the public. And, and as a, we mentioned in previous slides, a lot of the conversation actually took place among faculty. Um, so for example, art faculty discovered or rediscovered why math was an important element for their students. Uh, we created tools to communicate the value of general education to our students. That's what we're continuing to do this summer so that we have actual printed material that will help articulate that. And we began conversations about the outcomes transfer students need in the DQP area. So not just within our college, but using the DQP model identifying what students will need at the bachelor's and master's levels. Who participated? Well, as we said on the previous slide, we had the Vice President of Academic Affairs, the Director of Research and Planning. We had faculty, student learning outcome coordinators, 
And in fact, we surveyed all faculty and we also surveyed students. And we spoke to a transfer institution. Southern Oregon University came to our college and gave a presentation. There are things that we'd still like to do. So what still needs to occur is talking to our local employers and the public generally in our community about the value of associate degrees. And we've done a little bit of work on identifying strengths and areas of excellence in GE so that our graduates will be highly valued by employers. As many of you know uh, from reading materials about the degree qualifications profile, there are five areas of learning identified in the DQP. We show them here as applied learning, intellectual skills, specialized knowledge, broad integrative knowledge, civic learning, and we discovered that more training was needed to assist our faculty in understanding and aligning our courses and program objectives to these five areas. Our focus on GE led to our discovery that relating these three areas shown in red were most effective at our college. What will it look like? Using the framework to define a quality degree will continue to lead discussions and conduct surveys of stakeholders in order to meet our three objectives within one year. And at the end, the product that we were hoping to have is a clear, or more than one, clear and compelling narrative about the value of associate degrees at Shasta College for different groups, for students, current students, prospective students, the community, faculty themselves, and others. And what good will come from this? Well, we think that students will have an understanding of the purpose and value of our degrees, and more will pursue and complete degrees as we market our student voices handout. In addition, we think that faculty and the college community in general will be able to tell the story and the value of our general education as we market the Faculty Voices handout. My first or second semester, I took a sociology of gender class that was my favorite class. It changed the way I think about many things. Information on gender norms and feminism provided me a more positive role of women in society. I am more aware of sexism in the workplace and empowered by my choices. I now have a much larger view of the world and humanity. Economics really changed my view with current issues on how our global economy is impacted. These global issues certainly affect college students. I can relate to the Dr. Seuss quote, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. I have learned how to identify my values and beliefs and set goals for my future. I have learned tools and tactics that do not just apply to my life today, but my entire life. Intercultural communication gave me a greater world outlook and understanding of other cultures. I have learned to communicate with customers and not to be afraid. My listening skills have improved. My general education courses were a critical component of my success. An educated person is expected to be exposed to this information. If you know something about various disciplines, you will be a well-rounded individual. Knowledge of general facts about a wide variety of subjects is the key component of an educated person. An educated person understands the issues of the day and can vote as an informed citizen. It's the key to democracy. Reading and writing are essential in your educational and career pursuits. I teach in an area involving technology, and most of the students already realize that without some understanding of basic computer skills, they'll be at a disadvantage in today's job market. Most employers want employees to possess critical thinking skills and the ability to read, write, and express themselves intelligently. So the closing questions we have at, at, as we're nearing the end of our project is, do you think our students understand the value of general education courses? 
do you think all faculty can articulate the value of general education courses? Do you think employers understand the value of hiring students from Shasta College with associate degrees? And ultimately, how do our degree outcomes align with DQP areas and what do we need to change? Thank you. This is Shasta College. If you have additional questions, please contact Meredith Randall or Mark Beam at Shasta College in Redding, California. Our emails are shown.